tonight, 13 years after Paul, Rio and Cristiano helped them... Lock. Got uh, in this earlier slot, young boys against Manchester United, Sevilla against Salzburg. So... Because he's not been playing recently, he gets a start and he needs to show what he can do. got real energy. Mishak Elia up front has four goals already. Johnny van der Beek replaces Mason Greenwood and despite failing to secure regular uh, as a young player never mind the most senior player so no it, it will make a difference. Atalanta young boys who are managed these days by David Mark knows his strength against Fred. It's the first opportunity for young boys and that wasn't that far away. It's a sign of the confidence of a man who's got four goals this season. It's really difficult to, to play on this surface, but uh, no, see, I'm expecting to see Luke Shaw getting down that left. Mikel Arbisher, the number 20, is the player who's going to try and make it. Here's Sierra. Well, well spotted there. McGuire finding short by uh, Garcia, who got across to make it. And Van der Beek then. Failing to get anything really on the ball. Shaw with a cross, and that's it by Bruno Fernandes. Cristiano Ronaldo's in the middle, and he scores. He simply has the magic touch in the Champions League. And 12 years and 132 days since he last scored a Champions League goal for Manchester United. He's on the mark again. Three goals on his return, and Cristiano Ronaldo gives Manchester United the appearances in the competition, and he's way out in front in terms of goals scored. And it's the touch by Bruno Fernandes to Cristiano Ronaldo. They have thoroughly enjoyed seeing Cristiano Ronaldo score his third goal since his return. By uh, Harry Maguire, here's uh, Vanson, Sierra, Luke Shaw, Fred. Stepping through there is hefty. Arbisher. Decent ball in. Half a chance. Here's Jaden Sancho. Fred, the player who won it back for Manchester United. Sancho just united with Bruno Fernandes. Cristiano Ronaldo in again. Stings the hands of the goalkeeper, Von Balmos. Istanbul against Bashak Shahir was something they couldn't recover from. And here's Jaden Sancho. And Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba are waiting. Yes. Wan-Bissaka whips it in. Away. Awkward fall there for Paul Pogba in midfield, but the home side looking to press once more, and it was Michael Abisher. What his uh, best qualities are, and when you... At some point in your career, you still quite... And the bank trying to bring... Both full-backs will like to get forward. So there'll be chances if they're brave enough with their play in the middle. That was a clumsy challenge. Yeah, Wambi Saka was really stretching there, wasn't he? And there's going to be a card, and it's a straight red card. He's, he's a converted winger, and sometimes, you know, players who come, and Donny van der Beek coming into the side, into the side for the first time. Now, young boys threatening here as the shot goes right across oh, the face hit. of the goal, and that was a real opportunity to strike back straight away with United. Diogo Dallo, the substitute, getting involved in the attacking play, and Pogba popping up at left back. Maguire waiting for it on that occasion, and there will be a free kick for the challenge on Luke Shaw. The field as much as possible. Martins Pereira with the layoff. Sierra, comfortable enough for De Gea, had plenty of time to see that one coming. Yeah. They would have studied this young boys team over the last couple of weeks and seen that. Not like the stadium. We're just floating that one in and Elia. That was wild. Fluffing the queue on the edge of the penalty area. The Ten minutes before the break. At half time, young boys nil. Manchester. Right, get the three points. Start the campaign well. It's a big test for penalties. Two of them, uh, three of them have been missed. That one's at one all. Sibachu has taken his place in the middle as the cross comes in and Varane involved defensive. Hefty. 
away by Maguire. Led by... Run back for Manchester United by Diogo Dallo. Advantage played with Paul Pogba in possession. He will need all of that in this second half. Dallo having to work. Ronaldo helping out defensively. And then losing out Paul Pogba. Martins in the way to get there. Well, I think the Man United players for He takes it away from Kamara. Ronaldo's in. Down he goes. No penalty. Ronaldo furious. The referee was sure. Through the pin goes the corner. Elia waits for it. Excellent strength from Pogba. Bruno Fernandes beaten to it by Manchester United box. It's good defending it there by Fred. Just got that. Garcia. Arbisher lets it run. Silver two challenge well. Young boys. Space out here on this side now for Elia. Screens it in the cross. Two ended in. And they're level. And it's Nicholas and Gamaloo with the equaliser for young boys. And Manchester United's resistance is broken. Well, the crowd have almost sucked this with our little toe poke. Wonderful little finish, any kind of finish there, any kind of touch. And it's a corner off Luke. Shaw. That is Lingard, we know can break from distance. It's kept alive here by Hefty, they're queuing up in the middle for the cross. I think it was a touch in there from Varane that just got it away. This is their Champions League final, and who can down. blame them? In this wonderful atmosphere, Simicu at the near post couldn't quite turn it in. Well, United have gone to sleep there. It's just a quick early look and half. It's a free kick. In it goes from Dallow. It's a decent ball. It's falling. No, really, no real stellar. Oh, it's been given away. The Sibachu with a chance. Oh, what a gift. What a gift. And Jordan Sibachu, in the last minute of added time, wins the match for young boys. What an extraordinary finish. And the 10 men of Manchester United finally beaten.